What is up, DJ Martini Midwest reviews and tutorials coming at you with another video. Today I have a quick question from some, some viewers out there about the Prime Go and kind of want some updates on some questions. And so I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video tutorial on how to get that done. So we're gonna go over how to get the update. Also, how to connect the Prime Go to your laptop, have everything work there. I do have a more in-depth video on this, so check that out. This is gonna be kind of like the quick version. And then also they had some questions on how to disable some modes and how to do multiple songs. So one thing I want to point out is that when you're using the Prime Go with Virtual DJ, it does work. Everything works pretty fantastically and it's pretty exciting that it works with it. But you don't want to overcomplicate things. You are basically using a controller with a screen, but it's basically just mirroring your laptop and everything that you can do within your laptop now you can't do everything because you can't highlight things and like take a bunch of playlists and move them and things you're going to need a mouse or things like that which you don't have in the controller so you kind of don't uh, over complicate things everything you can do through the software you kind of have to do through the software and then this is just a, a hardware piece that you can use with it and it's basically mirroring your laptop so you absolutely still need your laptop, but this is going to be more inclusive because you can do a lot of things, see a lot of things that you can see through your screen and you can stay with your controller. So it's not a fix for everything that you can do in your laptop. It's just a fix for you have a screen now, you can change songs, you can go through playlists, you can do things like that, but you're not gonna be able to do a lot of the behind the scenes background moving playlists and things like that like you could with your laptop. So just kind of want to say, don't overcomplicate things. Just use your laptop to get a lot of the things done that you need to do, moving playlists and things like that, that you can't do with the controller because that's what it is. It's just a hardware controller with a screen on it now to help you kind of mimic some of the things that you're getting from the laptop. So I'm getting a lot of questions on how to do like really specific things on the controller, but you really can't. You're gonna have to do it through your laptop and I'm gonna show you how to get that done. So first I'm gonna just show you the quick basic on how to get the update, how to get this updated through the web. Uh, I show, I have really in-depth video on how to do it if you need to hook it up to your laptop and actually get uh, it downloaded on your laptop and then take a cord, plug it into your Go and then download it, the update via a corded method or your computer. But I can also show you how to do it through the web really quick uh, right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that and then I'm gonna show you how to hook up the Prime Go to Virtual DJ real simply once you get that update. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, we are back everyone. Just wanna kinda of show you how to get that update if you don't have it already on your Prime Go via the web. Now this is the simplest and easiest way to do it. I kinda of like using the cord sometimes to get things done, so I do have a lot of videos showing how to do that, but this is how to do it. So I am hooked up to Wi-Fi, so make sure that you're hooked up to Wi-Fi. You can see that I have the little Wi-Fi mark right here, but all you're gonna do is kinda, of, you can just tap on the top of this scroll it down and we're going to get to settings and you're going to see that you have uh, some settings here sorry for the focus uh, but you're going to have device mixer mic services and then about an update you're going to go to the update and then you're going to want to go to it says right here that i am running the the latest update which is the 2.3.2 but to get that all you have to do is go to the update firmware go to reboot and then it's going to ask if you want to do it via the computer or via the web if you hit the web it will just automatically take you to that update and start downloading the update it takes about probably about 45 seconds to a minute depending on your internet speeds and boom it'll restart and you'll be good to go so that's about the easiest way to get that done uh, i do have other ways showing you how to do that via computer but like i said this is pretty easy to get that done via the web only takes about a minute so just kind of want to show you how to do that so we're gonna go ahead and cancel out of that. And once you have that update, you can get out of this. So we have the update now. You've already restarted your Prime Go. Now you are wondering how to get this hooked up to your laptop via Virtual DJ. So you wanna use Virtual DJ. Now I will say another thing that you'll need is you actually need to go to the Denon DJ's homepage where they have their updates. Just a little bit. All right, so we are back and if you want the next step, once you have the update on your Prime Go, you're gonna to wanna to go to the actual support page on Virtual DJ, and you wanna to go to the hardware. You wanna find Denon DJ over here, right here. 
and you want to go find the prime go which is right here and then you want to go ahead look at that operational guide set up right here now one thing you will need absolutely is you will need to get this driver here the windows only driver it is a really quick driver to get but you will need to do it and i'll kind of go through this real quick so you go to that click download page from virtual dj which is the easiest way to find it in my opinion let's see if i can get it to pop up here and DJ pay, it, it is on the den and dj page uh, so we go there we go to our prime go and you can see this prime go window right here prime go kind of phasing in and out here focus is going crazy here all right so you go to the den and dj prime go page right here and it is right here. It's this first one. It says Prime Go Windows Driver. And we're going to go ahead and download that. I already have it downloaded. So you're just going to download it and it's going to go to your download files. All right. So once you have that Den and DJ Windows update and everything is uploaded on your computer, you've already downloaded it on your computer, you've already got everything you need for the Den and DJ Prime Go with the updates, you're all updated. Then we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how to go ahead and get into computer mode. To down here, control center, sources. And you see there's a computer. All you're gonna do is go ahead and say, yes, you wanna go into computer mode. But first, what we're gonna do is I have to go to my laptop and I'm gonna to go to my laptop and open virtual DJ, but it says it's already running, so we have it in the background, okay. So I opened virtual DJ, I wanted to do that first. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to say yes we want to go into computer mode and so once we open the computer mode it's going to take a few seconds but then it will log into the den and gj prime go it's asking me up here do i want to go to the den and gj prime do i want to use the speakers on my go or do i want to use the output speakers for my go or do i want to just use computer speakers i want to just use computer for now that way you can hear but we go back to our screen down here and we're all good so anything i do on the prime go i can uh, go to my menu here and i can actually back out here just a little bit and you can see that everything is working through my prime go that i can use on my laptop and it's also of course making my laptop work up here as well so everything you do so it's basically just mirroring the laptop and everything you're doing so you basically still are using your laptop but you have a lot more control with loading songs but you can see you can still pick a song and load it and it's going to be loading on one side go down load another song on the other side you have full control play pause everything from the prime go so i just wanted to show you that going to focus back onto the laptop here and answer the other questions that I had. All right, so we have it working with the Prime Go, but of course there are certain things that you still have to do with the laptop. So one of those questions was how to get rid of the karaoke tab. So we still have to go to settings and we can go to all is probably the easiest, but you could also go to browser. You could look up your browser, but if you just, I just go to all, it's easier to just see everything to make sure I'm not missing it. But we're going to go down to the, uh, there is a karaoke section here, but to go, you need to go to browser. So we're going to go to the browser. So here's the browser section here. Now, if you didn't want to see karaoke popping up in your search, you can just hit no, and then it won't come up. I have all catalogs here. You can go no here and it won't pop up the karaoke field for you. So that's in your browser settings. Uh, something you can change there and once you do that all you have to do once you click no you don't want it anymore you can get out there and you can also take out video or you know different things that you want you don't want to show up in your search there now another way you can do it too is you can actually go to your items here and I don't have it in here so you're not going to see it but say I wanted I don't want the IDJ pool audio remixes coming up you can actually hide this as well uh, by just hitting hide and then it's not going to show it anymore. So uh, your vocal pro as well, you want to hide that. You can hide that. Your digital tracks 
pro karaoke right like that and hide that so you can just hide the things you don't use and then you don't have to worry about seeing them so uh, just another way you can hide those as well so they don't show up and take up space for you the next thing was how to move multiple songs into playlists so that is a good question so we're going to go to our list here so I do make playlists, very important to me to keep my or music organized. Uh, so say uh, you just click here and you can create a new playlist here. So say I wanted to create a new playlist, we're just call it new playlist. And so I have an empty playlist here. Now, if you wanted to take, uh, say some songs, now you can do this many ways. You can take it from your actual songs in a you, that, another playlist that you're moving it from and you just hit shift uh, you click on the song, sorry, and then you hit shift and down, and then you can start highlighting a bunch of songs. And then you can just drag them in to the add to new playlist song list here. So you can add them to whatever list you want, but I want to add them to that new playlist. So I did that. Boom. And I have them in there. You can also go from your file explorer as well. I can open my file explorer. And I can go where my music is. I can say here's some mp3 music right here. And I have some music in here and I could, uh, you know, shift and highlight. You can also, you know, hit the shift and the command key. But that's how I do it. It just makes it easier for me to do it. But, and then you can just reduce this, move it over. And then you could add this to that playlist as well by dropping and dragging it in there as well. So uh, just options there for you. That's the way I would do it. There is many other ways you can do it with the command keys and things like that. But that's the easiest way that I could show you how to go ahead and move multiple songs from different playlists, wherever they are in your uh, music library, either your file explorer or if they're actually already in your virtual DJ, like I said, you can move them into your new playlist and say you don't want this playlist anymore, you can just go in and delete it and boom, it's gone. So very, very, very cool. You can also restore it too. It will be in your, actually in your, your bin here. So that new playlist is here and if you wanted to restore it, you could just restore it. So just a couple things I wanted to show you. Sorry, this video ran a little long, but I wanted to show you a lot of things. Hopefully I answered all those questions from my viewers that wanted those questions answered and good luck out there hopefully all right that was my tutorial for the day thank you so much for tuning in dj martini midwest reviews if it's helpful at all give me a thumbs up a like subscribe all those good things i do put out plenty of these tutorials every once in a while on different uh updates or questions people uh ask me so if you need some help i will try my best to get back to you and also try my best to answer some of these questions for you so thank you so much for tuning in dj martini midwest like I said, uh, you can't do a lot of things through the Prime Go with playlists and things like that if you want to move multiple files. So you just have to use your laptop. Try not to make it too complicated and just use, use the software that you're using your hardware with uh, to get all those things done and you'll have no issues. Hopefully I answer those questions on how to get some of that done. Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.